this week on Kentucky Afield. We're witnessing the hunt of a lifetime as Kentucky native Cade Frederick is drawn a bull firearm tag and he's right on top of them in the hills of Eastern Kentucky. Then, Go. we're just a few short weeks away from the opening day of rabbit season and we can't wait. Right there. It's all next on Kentucky Afield. Hey, 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 dead, 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 dead. Kentucky Afield. Every week, Kentucky Afield brings you features on hunting and fishing across the state. That's my pup. I'm proud of him. Here he comes right now. Let's get ready. Get ready. Look at that. What a nice, nice fish. Hey, we got wow. it up right there. We did. There he is. Ooh, a nice one, too. Boy, he's healthy. What do we got? <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Got the first kill. Got one big small mouth. Hey, nice. Double point. They're in there. There they go. Oh my gosh. Woo. Look at that joker. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Whoa, this is a good one. That's better than good, Chad. Hello, and welcome to Kentucky Field. I'm your host, Chad Miles. Join us as we journey the Commonwealth in search of outdoor adventure. This year, for our 2023 bull elk season, we tagged along with a University of Kentucky student who was lucky enough to draw a tag. And the action is something you won't want to miss. You are one of the lucky elk hunters this year. How excited are you to be here the night before the season, getting ready to go out and hopefully see a couple elk? And then tomorrow morning, it's all on you, man. It's, it's your turn to go. I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm really thankful for the opportunity. Glad to be here. Just super excited. What did it feel like when you got the news that you were going to be elk hunting? Have you been putting in for a long time? We have been putting in since my dad was younger. And as soon as I was old enough, we put in with me. And so we put in pretty much every year. And I'm super excited. And it was one of the most exciting things that's happened to me. You're going to be shooting a very unique gun. First off, it's your grandfather's. It's a unique caliber too. It's a seven millimeter, but it's a little different. What are you going to be shooting? A seven millimeter STW. STW. We're at BA Outdoors, and that's a piece of property that you're going to be hunting on. You actually will have a guide. Has he been sending you pictures of any bulls or kind of letting you know what, it, what they're seeing? Yeah, he's been sending us pictures of big seven by seven and a good six by six and some other smaller bulls and just a, several. They've, they've been having a lot going on. I'll tell you what though, when you get out here, um, and you start seeing a, a bull standing out there, pictures can't do them justice. I mean, they're beautiful, beautiful, majestic animals, but when you see one in the wild and they start bugling, we hopefully we hear some bugles tonight or definitely tomorrow when the hunt begins. It's an experience, I mean, it, it's an experience that you'll never forget. Are you a deer hunter? Big deer hunter. Okay, so you're very comfortable hunting. You did bring your dad along today, right? Yes, sir. So you and him get to hunt quite a bit together? Yeah, he's, my, my favorite hunting partner. That's the way it should be. You know, you, you, you learn with your dad, and I bet you that he probably is excited about this hunt tomorrow as you are. Yeah, you guys probably have been hunting more. buddies <laughs> for a long time, and he's like, yes, you get to, you get to go out and, and take an elk, and he'll have as much fun as you. So we do have some heat. These elk don't like to move in this heat. It's going to be an early morning and a late afternoon style hunt, but it's going to be a lot of fun, and I can't wait to get out there with you. Yeah, I can't wait. I tell you what, let's go get our gear together and uh, get our binoculars, and we're going to go out and find us a point and see if we can't uh, hear and see a couple bulls tonight. Yes, sir. Super excited. First elk bugle ever. That was really cool. You see a cow? Oh, yeah. In that point. Oh, yeah. I see. Yep. Sure is. Yep. Yeah. You see that cow elk? That's a bull out there. Yeah, it's a bull, yeah. Yeah, it's a bull. Oh, yeah, it is a bull. You're right. Cow droppings right there. That's a, 
that's a cow. So you've already heard a bugle, seeing sign. We've been out for four minutes. <laughs> I've checked two of my list off. <laughs> Straight toward that point, but down in the dirt, like, like on the same level that we're at. Yeah, <laughs> that's really cool. You've been in Eastern Kentucky here, not counting now for just a few hours. What do you think about that? That was awesome. You got to hear some bugles, got to see some sign, got to see several bulls. I tell you what, this is uh, this is what, if you're a hunter, this is what dreams are made of, get to come down here and do this. I believe it's getting dark, probably about time to call it quits for night and uh, get ready for the morning. I'm excited, man. Yeah, you gonna be excited. asleep tonight? No. <laughs> on the back side of the property that you guys own and manage. So this is an area that, um, you know, because it's close to some of the initial release sites, there's a lot of elk in the hole in this area, isn't there? Oh yeah, yeah, it's the perfect spot for them. I mean, you got everything you need. You got your vegetation, timber, water, and just, it's, it's um, perfect. No, we haven't heard any beagles this morning. We did hear a couple last night, but we've kind of sat down here for, for Hold them tight for 10, 15 minutes, letting this fog burn out. So there's a bugle. There we go. Is that a mute? That's a, no, that's a bull. The shooting light is here, but uh, the fog is pretty thick right now. But it's getting, it's getting close. They sure tucked in second, I mean, literally right at shooting light. There were two or three as well, weren't there? Yeah, yeah his cows are already hugging that timber line. I, I didn't think it was going to be long to me. I played this out beating all night, full moon. Very first light, they were right on the timber, and then, bam, they were gone. Had 
few cows with him, gave a quick little roundup call and headed in. Yeah, I think you're right. He's the last one to step in, so I watched these girls. <laughs> hey, that's part of it, you know. If you come out here and at first light, it was an easy shot, then it wouldn't be much of a hunt. Now, now we're hunting. Stop quite a few more out of their areas. One of those days where you you got a rifle tag and you'd be just as well off with a slingshot tag. <laughs> That's about how far we can see. Yeah, I can't see anything. It's a foggy morning. I mean, you're, you're 100, 150 yards, best you can do. Going we'll back out, come back out this evening, see what we can find. Just heard a bugle right past this point where we came in. It's about a 10 minute walk, so we gotta hustle.
I don't know how you could end your day one elk hunt more exciting than what just happened. <laughs> hey, you, you, yesterday, 24 hours ago, you saw your first elk ever. And then here tonight, we knew we were in the hustle. We heard this bull bugle. We make our quick transition knowing it was gonna be very, very close. The bull walks out beautifully, turns, walks right to us. What was going through your mind? I was about ready to shoot. <laughs> it was it was a pretty good one. Pretty good bull. Pretty good bull. It was really cool to see. I would just guesstimate 120 yards. You actually ranged yeah, it. Yeah, he's 103. When he was broadside, 103. 103. He came down, bugle, turned broadside. I'll tell you, that that is a perfect example of a bull that day two or three or day four, you'd be like, okay. We, <laughs> but you know what? This is day one, and you just had one of the coolest bull elk experiences with a rifle in your hand that you're ever going to have. To have one get that close, turn broadside and bugle is unbelievable. Yeah, that hurt up. That was one of the coolest experiences I've ever had. Yeah. Beautiful rack, just a dark horn, hybrid tip. It was just a really nice bull. Concludes one awesome day one of elk hunting. It's been awesome. I can't wait to get out here and get out again in the morning. Let's hope it's not quite as foggy as it was. I say we get in, get ready for the morning hunt. Rabbit season is right around the corner, and it's one of my favorite hunting seasons. I can't wait to get out this year with some friends and get my dogs in the field. Well, today we're out here in Henry County, and we're getting ready to do one of my favorite things, getting ready to start rabbit hunting. You know, this is an interesting day. We, we like to do big rabbit hunts a lot of times. We'll have eight, 10 dogs and five, six hunters. And those are a lot of fun. But today, this is more of a typical rabbit hunt. A couple buddies get together, just a few dogs, put some dogs on the ground and, uh, and get after them. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. That should be a good spot. It. So Casey, you, uh, you kind of grew up doing some rabbit hunting, haven't yeah. you? Yes. Yep. Tell me a little bit about uh, where we're hunting today. We're hunting in Henry County. Uh, this is actually a neighbor's farm that uh, they've been gracious enough to let us hunt. Um, it's always been in the past just a great farm to rabbit hunt. Yeah, we've ran some dogs out yeah. here before and, yeah. uh, and we've, we've always had some luck. I brought my two little dogs here, two little females. The, Josie uh, is the uh, lemon dog and then uh, black, the black dog there, that's Checkers. Paul, you you and I talk a lot about uh, about hunting, and you kind of got into hunting a little bit later on. You've always fished, but uh, hunting is something that you really picked up in the last 20 years, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Uh, being from Jefferson County, I just didn't have a whole lot of access to hunting grounds, and finally met some folks out here in Henry County, and I uh, haven't stopped hunting since. There's nothing like meeting friends through the outdoors, and uh, you know we met later on in life, and uh, you know we've been doing this quite a bit. Well, these dogs are ready to They're go. They're ready. <laughs> They've been on the ground uh, twice this week, so uh, they should be ready to go. It should be a good hunt. I'm gonna keep them uh, on the collar. We're gonna walk up and turn them loose up here. You gonna come with me? Yeah. All right, let's go. Ready, Josie? Ready, checkers? Go. Hunt him up, hunt him up, hunt him up, hunt him up. Let's go, let's go. Hey, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes, here he goes, here he goes, here he goes, here he goes, right here, 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 here. Well, that didn't take long. We got to wrap it up. Let's see what happens here. Oh, there he goes. All right, put the dogs on it. There's a big sinkhole behind us, and every year we've hunted here, rabbits end up coming in the sinkhole. If you don't shoot them before they get to the sinkhole, then they get away. So what we're doing is just waiting on the rabbit. Hopefully he'll circle back and Paul or Chad will get a shot, but if not, he's probably gonna come this way. So we're gonna sit right here and try to get a shot at him. Here you go, hunt in here, 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 let's go, hunt in here. Get in there. There he goes, come on, Paul, come on, Paul. Hold still to come back. Right there. It's been Chad shot twice. <laughs> hey, 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 right here. Dead, dead, checkers, checkers. Hey, 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 here he is. See, it tells you how much beagles rely on their nose. Look at this. That, do that dog can see that rabbit, but he wants to smell right where he went. Right here. 
hey, 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 dead, 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 dead. All right, let's get another one. Let's get another one. That was a pretty cool chase. We jumped this rabbit about 150 yards back and it was just staying way out in front of us that whole time. Got lucky. We got lucky. <laughs> there he is. Coming to you, KC. Coming right to you. I believe you got it. You get it? Yeah, we got it. Sweet. Nice job. Here he is, here he is, here he is, dead, dead. Here, 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 here he is, here he is, dead. Here, 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 here. Dead. Dead, dead, good boy, good. Dead, 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 dead. Stop. Nope. I saw him for a split second come out the second run around, but then it, he come popped out right and 30 yards, perfect. Sweet. <laughs> Well, nice job. Yeah, thank you. I'll tell you what, poor Paul's been over there guarding that Cinco. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's get the dogs gathered up and go over there and find out if he's still awake. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, here he goes! Here he goes! You right at you, Paul, right at you. Right here! Paul, maybe we can call Amazon and have them drop you off some more shells. Instead of 50, I got 47. <laughs> there he goes, there he goes. Sorry, man, I got your bunny. That's all right. He was uh, headed uh, back up that fence line. If I didn't shoot, we were gonna be here a while, so. Casey said that we can go over there. I think we can go over there. Yeah, right try, next door. Yeah, try to yeah. get you, try to get you a bunny or two. Oh, good. Hey, hey, oh, hey, there he goes. Yeah. Get ready, Paul. <laughs> there he goes. Hey, 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 here he goes. Here he goes. Hey, 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 coming to you, Casey. Yeah. Nice shot. That was awesome. So he ended up under that old truck. Yes, right he ended up underneath the old truck and ran right out here in the open. <laughs> it couldn't get any easier. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, uh, we got a lot of fence There's line plenty left. More. There's plenty more. I'll throw it out in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Nice shot. Thanks. There it goes, but moving backwards. Oh, I see it. Right by Casey. Poor Paul. One of those days you just can't be in the right spot, but we're going to get him a bunny here in a minute. There's been one in here. Here he goes! Check her. Dead? Oh, let go. Check. Had to shoot pretty quick, but uh, you know what? That's four, so I got a limit of rabbits today. Anytime you can go out and get a limit, the rabbits, that's a heck of a day. Coming up your side of the bank, right at you. There you go. Yeah, I think it's the biggest one today. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. Yeah, thanks. We've had some really good runs today. And for having three people and only yeah. two dogs, you know, we probably could have killed a few more rabbits, and we may get one or two more on the way to the truck, but this is how the vast majority of people rabbit hunt. It's a couple of friends, one or two dogs, helping the dogs out a little bit, kicking up some brush, and uh, letting the dogs bring the rabbits back by. That's what rabbit hunting's all about. Yeah, they've had some good long runs. They have, they have. I tell you what, they've done pretty well today. Now let's check in and see who else has been out having fun in this week's Ones That Didn't Get Away. 
check out this beautiful buck that was taken in full velvet in Pulaski County by K.J. Combs. Nice job. Logan Rose and his dad took their tree dog, Rebel, out for a two-man limit on Land Between the Lakes. Nice job. Here we have nine-year-old Lockett Beckham with her first deer, a nice buck that she took with a crossbow while hunting in Owen County with her dad. Congratulations. Here we have Matthew Trigg with a nice striper that he caught on a fly rod while fishing on the Cumberland River. Nice job. If you enjoyed part one of our bull elk hunt, make sure you join us next week for part two and see how it all wraps up. And remember, hunting and fishing on private property is a privilege. Always ask permission and thank the landowner. Until next week, I'm your host, Chad Miles, and I hope to see you in the woods or on the water.